compression test of the spine, we're going to be testing um, the disc space between the vertebral bodies and also um, potentially foraminal compression um, from the facet joints. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply pressure through the top of the head gently down through the spine and ask the patient if that uh, reproduces any of her symptoms. And so specifically I'm looking for if anything um, is coming down the arm or whatever they came in presenting with. Sometimes this can be uncomfortable and the patient will, will complain of other symptoms that doesn't feel good. It's good to note those, but um, don't be led astray. Sometimes that can just be uncomfortable. Um, to further tease out what structure is painful, if you do get some pain here, you can have them move into a slight extension or even a little bit of extension and rotation to isolate it to one side and then very gently apply pressure down. You want to be very careful if the patient has any um, issues with their vertebral artery or um, has, has any problems in that area, you want to be careful not to do this test um, as that can be fairly devastating. So you can isolate if they're in extension and they have pain here, you may think that there's um, pain with compression of the posterior elements, maybe facet joints. If they have pain more in this relatively flexed position of neutral, you may find that it may be more pressure on the disc bodies themselves. If they do have a disc, you may find that depending on where you put the head, it may relieve pressure depending on where that bulge is uh, in the spine. 